summon. I've been waiting for this. I've had this in my Model uh, S, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate this a little later when it stops raining. Uh, you can now uh, use your phone to um, uh, pull the car out or in of a spot. And uh, I don't know whether it's a full summon like uh, the Model S that would open up your garage door automatically uh, and pull your car in. Uh, I'll have to see what it looks like. Uh, let's actually go into the settings. Settings, uh, autopilot, summon, turn it on. Uh, a little warning here. Uh, the car is moving uh, without a driver in the car. And then uh, let's see if it's got the same. Yep, it looks like it's got the same uh, settings as my Model S had. You can adjust your bumper clearance. I had to drop that down to I think like eight inches um, because my garage back home uh, was pretty tight. Summon distance, that's how far it goes when it travels and then it'll stop. Side clearance, um, I think I needed to go tight because uh, I have a pole uh, near my parking, in my garage when my car pulls in. Require continuous press, uh, I guess that is just sort of a safety feature. Um, I'm going to turn that off because I think that's going to be annoying. Maybe just press the mode. It requires you to press and hold the button in the middle of operate. This is disabling the image allows you to operate with a single tap and then I guess another tap to disable it. Uh, disabling the image does not alleviate the user's responsibility for carefully monitoring. Yes, yeah, so you basically just have to monitor um, and start summon and then stop summon. I'm going to say yes and use auto link, yes, to uh, uh, open and close the garage door when you activate summon. So what this does is if you're parked in your garage and you're outside your, uh, well, you can just say summon, it, it, it will tell the car to open the garage door, and I'm going to use it for home, and then it'll pull the car out and then it'll close the garage door. When you pull up uh, at your house, you can have it open the garage door, pull the car in, and close the garage door behind it. So that's a pretty cool feature. Looks like it's going to be just like the Model S uh, feature, and I'll try to show that. And then the summon feature is here, connects to your vehicle first, and then you get a forward and reverse button. Hopefully you can see that on my screen, forward and reverse. So press forward, car starts up, starts moving forward, it does go cautiously, I'm going to press stop to stop it, and then uh, reverse to come back. When I get home, I will show it going in and out of my garage door garage down here is two packed. Let's see if it stops by itself. Slow down. Sometimes it slows and stops. And I'm going to go reverse again to see if I can get it closer to the uh, wall. And I have to press stop here. Whoops. <laughs> it was going, uh, it was going pretty far. I did set my uh, stoppage uh, to, I think, uh, 12 inches or something. So I don't know whether it stopped by itself. Hey everyone, wanted to show you the uh, summon feature in my garage. So I'm parked in the garage. I've got my app out and I will select summon to pull the car out of the garage. I hit reverse. And summon. Car starts up, starts pulling backwards. I have to press the stop button. Uh, it looks like it's going pretty good. Pulling itself out of the garage. 
I think it should close the garage door when it's done. And I think it just goes 25 feet, so it stops after 25 feet. And let's see if it closes the garage door. It did not. Someone told me to uh, turn on the requires continuous press. I'm going to try that this time and see. Uh, I got it set to 8 inches in front of, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to go to 12 inches and see if that's far enough in to the garage. So this is all under uh, settings autopilot. So I'm going to get out of the car. I've tried double tapping here uh, for the um, summon park, but it doesn't look like that works. It did work in my Model S, I believe. That's how I used to be able to uh, get it to pull into the garage. Okay, so I'm outside the car now. Uh, I have it aligned pretty well to go into the garage. Turn on the summon feature and choose forward. First connects to the vehicle and I think I ha now have to press and hold the summon button so we'll go forward holding it down and looks like it's working this time I think it worked Nope, it doesn't like going into the garage door. Let's try it again. So it looks like it stops as it goes into the garage door. And then it's got to go over these little bumps, steered there a little bit. Let's see if it stops a foot away. It's about a foot and it closed the garage door. So it worked. The only issue was when it first went in, it um, stopped as it approached. So let's try exiting now and see if it opens up the garage door. Pretty cool. So I'm holding reverse. Car started up, opening the garage door by itself. I guess it just waits a pre programmed period of time. It's pulling itself out. Let's uh, see how it does. Yeah, it seems to be stopping each time it gets to the. I'm going to press it again. It's going to go. So it seems like it's just stopping as it gets close to the uh, door. It's going out a little bit on an angle, but uh, I think it's got it down. And I'm curious when I let go, which I just let go, if it closes the garage door. But I guess it doesn't. Um, that's interesting. I'm going to try uh, closing. Well, no, I guess it just assumes the garage door is open. So let's go forward. By the way, I'm going to let go and it stops immediately. So I can go in reverse, holding the button down, starts up starts moving, and then I let go, and it stops immediately. Okay, so let's see, I'm semi-aligned, a little bit of on an angle here, but uh, we'll see if it works. <clears throat> so I'm going forward, a little tight here, but... Hmm. Seems to be 
a little finicky in going forward. Press it again. And it's working. It stopped again. So it keeps stopping as it gets close. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the tight fit on. Steering right there a little bit. Now it's steering left. I think so. Yeah, not really. It's really on a bit of an angle there. And then it stops, garage door goes down. Cool. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. And I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. Check it out. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you can use my referral code and get unlimited free supercharging. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.